excuse me. Hey y'all, Clem Hawkins here. Actually, I'm not down there. I'm up here. There you go. Uh, so I was sitting here listening to music, realizing I could sure use one of them other phones. And I have yet to test to see how this is functioning. I almost think it'd be smartest to use the Bluetooth, but that phone doesn't have any internet. And neither phone has much storage, so if I stream it, I don't have to worry about none of that shit. So I was thinking, sitting here, making shit, and thinking about the fact that I need to hire an agent to call in for me every... I need to hire somebody, at least, to call in every week for two months. It's uh, probably the only way I'll ever find my way there. I also learned about the standby thing, which I guess once I do that, I might be able to do the other. Uh, regardless, it's a nice and beautiful snowy day, 6 to 12 inches on May something or another. I don't know. 11th, 12th, 9th, no, yeah, I don't know, anyway, I've been sitting here on my little box wondering what the hell am I doing with this nonsense, I'm supposed to be doing podcasts and doing it myself and without the studio and the good looking dog, it might have gotten some folks attention. Now it's just a monkey talking to a little black thing sitting on a big green box, which is surprisingly warm, but the cooling fins give that away. And the fact that it's an unusual shape that doesn't capture water, it just sheds it. One towel keeps my butt dry and warm, which on a day like today kind of is a good reason why not to go pedaling around three puddles. Believe it or not, you head down that way, it's pretty easy. There's there's maybe two kind of uphills parts where you gotta where you have to have to pedal, but the majority of the way to town is pretty Degraded, declined, rejected, no, it just sloped downward. It's a hill. That one there, I did that the other day, and I don't remember where it went to. I think eventually it got to like 28th or something. I haven't been that way, and I haven't been that way past that first street, where if you turn there is where... BHS is that. It's on the other side of that building. Ooh, look, there goes a house. Houseable wheels. Um, and who knows, maybe it's the appropriate aspect of it. It's kind of like a full circle thing. Uh, look, right then I said that the, the light changed to green, but the hand stayed red, so I didn't get the green man. Not time to walk across the street, not like I'm looking to. Unfortunately, for saved money, I have weathery proof gear that allows me to sit out here in a place where, well, heck, I figure this is, we'll see. But there's a guy that's happy about it. I don't even know what you can see, I ain't watching it. Um, yeah, wouldn't that be nice if I could just hang it somewhere? That's why I was talking about the Bluetooth, and I wouldn't have to worry about the stupid phone. I mean, the smartphone. Smartest phone in the whole world. Yes, you are. You're just the bestest phone ever. Speaking of Elvis, I started hunting through Google Photos, trying to find some older... I found some Durango photos... Maybe a couple Moab photos. I'm 
trying to remember since I was a dumbass and deleted my other Facebook accounts without backing them up somehow all of the photos from before 2000 I don't know 12 are kind of few and far between it could be earlier than that I was in Santa Fe but I'm pretty sure in Santa Fe was the electric prankster days and uh, that was subliminally cool Oh, gosh, I'm sorry. I could just let you sit and look at the mountains or something. You can't see the mountains. I'm not sure what the traffic is like and how well it's picking up, but I'm assuming it's still live, and I'm supposedly got 25 gigabytes of data, and I'm not sure when it runs out. It's been almost a month. I think, and I haven't even looked at the app that tells me. I can find out shortly, but those people look like little woot loops or those things that uh, hatch it in. You know, in case uh, Kale decides to watch, tune in. Yeah, dude, there's hatchet men that are dressed in suits painted on the buses. Kids grow better in nature, right, too, Rock? Kind of looks like her. From what I remember, no perfections or guarantees. So I sit here and I look at that building and I wonder, what the heck is it? It's got these signs on it that say it's watched 24 hours by cameras. Which is generally bullshit. I think the price of one camera is all of the signs needed to surround the fence at specific distances as to be legal or something. But still, it's a super big, super nice building. I'm assuming with all of this new construction, they're looking to tear it down and put something else there. It's got a big sort of smokestack, so somebody might say that there's something went on in there that was environmentally unsound which is makes sense about the fence but it's a nice corner as the snow picks up and starts pushing across my face i'm not sure if it's trying to encourage me i'm doing my best to time the bus ride because you get three hours and i got library time and a desire to go to the medicinal dispensary my card expires in a week or less. I hope they don't pee on my bag. So keep them from peeing on my bag, I hope. See my bag down there? See the lady over there? So yeah, I've been sitting here not flying a sign, and I'm getting inspired to fly signs. And I started making some signs the other day. I almost wish this was going text-to-speech instead of live streaming, but wouldn't that be nice if there was an option for it? All you got to do is throw the video through the text-to-speech thing, and it'll print out, or what have you. Come on, Mark. Where's your geek at? Get your geek on, dude. I'm sitting here without a laptop trying to design apps and shit, and you guys got all the technology in the world. You can't figure out what the hell's going on. Look at that green light and a green man. Here come the puppy dog. Oh, she's got a cool little camera on her thing. Good morning, puppy dogs. Good morning, lady walking the puppy dogs. Oh, I love it. It's a dog's life. Makes everybody stay inside. All the bubbles are at a definitely safe distance, if not just passing by. Oh, yeah, I should talk about that, huh? So, I met this girl. Oh, and we're live. I totally forgot all about that. Uh, if you don't like attention deficit disorder, if you're not a little bit attention deficit disorder, you're not going to like this squirrel. So, for my next routine, I'd like to do my one-hour special in 
30 seconds. Well, I only got two minutes and, you know, if I'm doing it for the attention deficit, I mean, I got to know my audience, right? My audience is me. What? I don't know. So I figure the trick, I'm sitting here sciencing the shit out of it, and then I'm also hearing in my ear, no, do not even think about telling the secrets that you're hearing in your ear on the stupid Facebook thing. Because eventually somebody will, will listen to it. Uh, maybe, we'll see. We put it on to stay. All these signs tell me to keep my ass sitting right here on this green box is all right by me. I'm not sure. I may be completely out of weed. I got a roach. But when I get low, I smoke more. Look, there's bus number 13. I should see when that loops around again. What time is it? Let's do that test, boys and girls. Skip. There goes the skip bus. Let's see when the skip bus comes back, number 13. And that'll be our podcast. The Bus Loop Podcast. Why? Well, because if I sat on the bus and did the loop, people would not be liking me because I'd be sitting here talking about stuff. And all their bubbles would be fucking up my thoughts. Not here. My thoughts are affected by the randomness of traffic, the beautiful snow falling all around me, the wonderful aspect that my pants hardly get any stickiness to it because, well, because... Pay good money for your clothes at a thrift store in Boulder, you get really good shit. So, and I think I found out what was wrong with the jacket. The jacket was 40 bucks, but they say it was a $200 jacket. It's nice. I mean, don't, let's not be fooling ourselves. But I, right there, you can see I found just this morning this stitch that was all fucked up. So there's at least nine stitches there. I gotta handle it later. And at some point, I found a, a really good sewing kit. Each thread had its own needle. And I could use that to fix it because it's on the inside. Who cares what color it is? But I'm still a fan of those hook needles and dental floss, especially for invisible type of repairs. Or repairs in places that are invisible or basically so my fluffy winter coat my zero poser should also needs also stitching and that's a good thing to keep track of I haven't done well so much as to keeping all my documentation in one format or location but I guess that's part of the squirrel mentality don't put all your nuts in one basket. Hide some in cans and other places, I suppose. Um, and I'm just here, sitting here thinking, what podcast is this? Is this for the Residentially Challenged by Clem Hawkins podcast, which it could be? Or is this the Except No Limitations podcast? that I made the logo, spinny logo for who knows how long ago. I ought to put that up there to give an old tip of the hat to Joe Rogan, JR. So, yeah, I guess maybe I could make that decision. I really like when the snow does that. Like all the people with their snow on the top of their deal. You can tell who's got a garage and who don't. That car just came out of a garage. No questions. Or car wash just up the street with a really, really, really good dryer. But there's nothing on the top. There's no water on the sides. There's no dirt on it. But we are in the land of the g garages out here. Up here in the Nobo. There goes my thing. They call it Nobo. North Boulder. I'm not sure what the, these four-letter deals around Denver. They had one that was Sobo for South Broadway, but it's much more of a Sobro place. I'm not sure why they dropped the R. Oh, yes, please. See, I've got my fortunate 30-ounce cup of coffee. 
I French pressed me a fresh pot right before. Normally I'm out here a lot earlier, but um, I'm, it just changed a week ago, but long and the short of it is they have volunteer work shifts that give you extra, uh, I don't know, privileges, if you will. One of which is, uh, or maybe it's the only thing that I, I do laundry twice a week and to be quick about it. I was doing dishes, but now the volunteers are doing dishes. Ooh, there's a nice house on wheels. Look at that. All fancy windowed. Of course, I'd have done it more low key than that. And I'd probably put that silver shirt there. That hobo alley girl. She's got her. She, the way she did it was pretty damn clever. Um. Yeah, that is a good thought, huh? She did a YouTube thing, something about, I, I wasn't paying much attention to all of the directions, but long and the short of it, she's looking for people to submit some kind of something about how or where they would travel if they traveled together. Um, I think she was looking for other people to caravan. Um, and the girl, oh, maybe that's the connection. I met this kind of interesting girl. She's been here a few nights, but she carries herself a lot more like a European on vacation using shelters instead of hostels. I'm not even sure if there is a hostel in Boulder. A hostel, for those unaware, is a, it's like 20 bucks. You pay 20 bucks basically to stay in a place like this shelter. Uh, I'd probably get in trouble if I did a walkthrough, so I'm not going to do a walkthrough. Uh, <coughs> hell, I don't know. One of those kids might get bored and decide to look me up. Um, if they haven't already. I mean, it's been, what, a couple, three weeks now. But... Uh, So far, the main biggest challenge is keeping my phones charged. I have extra batteries, but it's not the most convenient. Oh, number two, let's have a reminder. We're waiting for number 13. Um, if I had another one of those phones, I'd need like five or seven phones just to be able to keep track of all of the thoughts that I have in my head. I sure wish I could talk to Mr. I uh, almost said Tesla. Uh... God dang it. Elon. Um, something tells me he'd be able to help out with that. And it's not that I want anything from him. It's just I got some really good ideas that he's like, I got tons of ideas. But we'll see about it. Um, like, I saw the other day, I'm not sure why, but both of my phones connect to my Bluetooth ears. And I've often wondered why is it that the Bluetooth speakers aren't in stereo or multiples of each other yet? That should have happened like two, three, I mean, all of these things. They should be able to somehow be converted. So you plug in a USB on the side of it and it chains that to the other one that is plugged in on the USB side of it or something just to fix the old stuff, but then the new stuff would come with it included. The point being is that one person could broadcast Bluetooth like you would a radio and everybody with speakers could tune in. Well, yeah, not to mention the Buddy app, the Drinking Buddy app, the Edible Buddy app, the gosh I bet you I could make up a hundred of them all different no but all marketed different and that includes four and so really it only take four countries and 25 but I just hold on myself I ain't cheap because this one I'm just saying I'll do a hundred twenty five at a time I don't know 
So I guess if I get a chance or when I get a chance to rewatch this, it's snowing. I got glasses on and it's really glary because of the snow. Um, I'll have to see later where the microphone sound is if it even comes through. It's kind of funny, everybody worries about privacy and due to current financial limitations, I'm unable to afford things like a laptop or, I mean, right now I got two phones. I got one external speaker, one set of crummy headphones and one good set of headphones, Bluetooth and the Bluetooth Connectivity has still something less to be desired. And uh, I guess it's a bonus to say I got moved up to the sober dorms and it seemed not even it was more than half full, I think. I don't know if it was two-thirds full. I'm not done a head count. I guess it would be say, hey, can we sell the guy? What? Well, you got a sober dorm, right? They got to go through a process like me. Your name came up, so it must be something about time. I don't know. But it's a bottom bunk next to an outlet. Decent cell mates, uh, shell mates, uh, bunk mates, whatever you want to call it, bunkhouse mates, house mates, I guess. Yeah, it'd be nice if I could just speak up a letter and have it sent to the old man. But uh, I haven't figured out how to do that yet. There's an, just another buddy app. I guess in the basic aspects, we all need a little help. I need a lot of help. So I have a lot of ideas on how to help me. I just got to get that other next part maybe figured out. I tried, well, I researched anyway. Tastes like you. Yeah, right, there's the other challenge, rolling a cigarette in the snow. I did it earlier, but it wasn't going really hard. We might have to go walk over there to the housing partners building and be under the overhang. I won't want to talk much there though. I'm not sure. I'm fine listening and even hearing my own voice, but uh, when I can feel myself being heard by others, it, it's kind of weird. And I don't want to just sit there and talk out loud like half the crazy people at the shelter do. I don't know. I'd say maybe 20% of the people there got some serious wing nut issues. Uh, I can't say what other percentage has similar psychotic issues but they are self-chosen through the drug habits that they partake in but the uh, hiker girl the girl with the nice backpack and the dr bronner's uh, shared some interesting information this morning and I'm anxious and curious to find out more what she's got to say about all of that. <laughs> but she was talking about navigating and she was talking about the way different people are connected to different people and their actions affect each other. And it's not people that would know each other or uh, 
maybe ever interact with each other, but other versions of yourself, she was kind of saying. But that's when I was a dumb man interrupting. Well, I didn't interrupt any secrets or things like that. We are. We're all things ourselves or duplicates of ourselves, right? If God created everything and we're all in our image, we're all God. It seems that simple. It may not be that simple, but it seems that simple. That's why to love your neighbor is loving God, because everything is God. How about those simple apple cinnamons on your oatmeal? That was very good. Microdosing the homeless. It's a novel idea, but I think they need more of a kick in the head dose. Not a literal kick in the head, but just like a homeless people can handle it. What's the worst thing they'll do? Crawl outside on a nice night and cuddle up into a ball and wake up in the morning in the grass? Well, yeah, there's that, that, but I try not to think or discuss those types of things. I'm not sure where my power is. I'm not sure. I'm sure that there's not anyone watching, but at least I'm getting stuff documented. That was the other, see, what was the other buddy apps that I was thinking about? There's like Comedy Buddy, which was a timer and allowed you to have little buzzers in your pocket that gave you set time clues or uh, awarenesses like buzzes every, once every minute and then the last minute it buzzes at 30 seconds I don't know 15, 7, 3, 2, 1 or something because by the 7 you want to be saying goodnight or whatever maybe even before that maybe be done with 15 seconds left every time that gives them 15 seconds to applaud, of course. I don't know. We'll see. I'm wondering what the trees are. There's lots of trees with white flowers. And this is probably another reason why people here have a lot of things like apples and produce shipped here. Because see what happens is a lot, I don't know, depending on how cold it gets. That might just melt off, but fruit bearing trees. Ooh, look, there's a fine sire, fine fire. Trying vet. I don't want to be a vet. Too much sadness. I like his presence because it makes me sitting here even funnier. You're like, where's your sign? Where's your sign? I'm thinking maybe just graffiti it on the box I'm sitting on. Here's your sign. You see, it works. Advertising. Trying that. Homie, don't you know me? So many ways to interpret that phrase right there. Homie? Don't you know me? That's my hoe, me. Give me the money, hoe. Oh, yeah, another bad sign to fly. Give me the money, hoe. Wanna be slave?
wannabe slave seeks food and shelter. There's another one. The other question I get. Oh, where's the number 13? There we go. We're back on point. The snow's kind of lightened up. Now that homie got some money over there, ain't no way. Ain't no way I'm giving up my seat now. So we got to roll a cigarette here. I guess somebody could press a timer. That'd be interesting, huh? One thing I still haven't found the solution to is uh, the dry skin. I gotta lick my thumbs every time I roll a cigarette. And I may be lotion, but I'm pretty sure I tried that. So you guys tell me, did he get anything yet? I haven't been paying attention. And I guess the crazy part is on a today, why be sitting out on a power box streaming live to Facebook when you could be, oh, yeah, of a stupid corner of traffic in Boulder, Colorado? Um, why would you just sit and hang out there? And, and my thought is, well. My bike is covered with snow, and yesterday I forgot to put the plastic thing on the seat, so it got all wet in the rain. Which is why I have the towel, but when I got out of there, I wanted to smoke my last doobie that I had. And so I came right here and sat down, and I've been here since. All this other stuff just transpired. And at some point, I decided to start streaming. And if I can see it, does it tell me how long it's been streaming? It just says live. Look at all of the clothes in the back. Holy smokes. So I guess that's a good residentially challenged topic. And another good thought, I didn't think about that till just now, but I recently saw, well, it's been a few little bits, but Joe Rogan's been putting out these best of the week little bits and clips of all of the hours, um, which I think is pretty smart, and maybe that's what I can do with all of the stuff that I got up there so far as soon as I, whenever I get to a computer lab and have access to the equipment necessary to do such things same thing of having like four or five phones i could use like if i had four or five people i could just tell what to do or ask what to do request their you know tell them what to do google this print that design this do this this to the guy in um accounting send this to the legal department you gotta get patents on everything, yada yada, bling bling. That's why Elon Musk is helping. 
Maybe he's already aware that there are more of him. Maybe he's Algernon. Have you algernon out yet, Elon? Have you got the computer systems listening for your name? So whenever they hear your, your name, Elon Musk, then you tune in, Elon Musk. Granted, maybe that's only on YouTube. Which I guess, if I was on YouTube, to be real honest, I'd probably get more viewers than on my Facebook account. It's just my opinion, but I'm pretty sure. My phones are too small, so I, I'm unable to do the uh, Twitter and the other stuff of Instagram or the photo deal. Uh, green light. But, you know, the sign of the times, the technology keeps making getting more and more expensive, bigger and bigger, but more slower, more retarded. Unacceptable. Telling you to go fuck yourself is common day practice in New York. But granted, that brings us to the ball cap story from the Sedona press guy. What do you mean don't just leave us hanging? Nobody's watching this, listening to this. Okay, so I'll remind myself. New York, L.A., ball caps, thought bubble, speech bubble. New York guy says, hey, buddy, fuck you, but his thought bubble says, good morning. L.A. guy's speech bubble says, good morning, but his thought bubble says. Yeah, I really ought to be using this for text-to-speech because that would save so much time. I mean, speech-to-text. Because that way I don't have to go back and listen to it or edit it or... Since Elon Musk has yet to give me my team of assistants, or give me, ah, shit, just his assistants. He's probably too busy to assist, but he's got a team of assistants that might not be too busy. I keep him busy. I'll give you 3%. Now, I know you said 10, but I'll give you 3. Maybe I'll give you 3, 4 times. That's more than 10. All right? That's like 13. There's the 10. I haven't completely lost faith. And that's the deal. Uh, when the 13 comes, I hit stop. And then we see how long it took. And something tells me it might have already done two laps and I missed it. Here come smart bikers from the uh, on, with their blinky blinks. They've been on the road for a minute. I wonder if they're out on the on the the guy in the back definitely looks on the on the road. Look at him, he's got racks and bags and saddlebags, everything in his front wheel. The other guy's got the little trailer y thing with his stuff in the back. I think I'd prefer the back version. But the guy in the back might not have a trailer y deal. Both one's clean shaven, one's bearded. Both have the same blinky lights, so they're probably together. I don't mean together like that, I just mean... So I'm just sitting here, uh, yeah, you're right, text to speech. Oh, but I gotta hang out until number 13. The biggest lull or bummer of it is I'm aware 
when I started doing this, I was listening to music and my head was in a certain place. I was probably listening to Minor Threat. Could have been listening to The Clash. No, it was probably Minor Threat and Grateful Dead. Weird combination, I know, but I'm weird. Uh, well, I think they're both DIY bands, so how's that for you? Just the Grateful Dead is the biggest DIY band ever. It was D-I-O, do it ourselves, instead of do it yourself. Ooh, he works. Hello? Hello? All right, sorry, it was a... 888 number. 888 number. You can't see that. I can't see that. Snow's picking up again. And it's frustrating. It made me pull out my phone. Disconnect. Oh, wait. I can still reconnect it. Got the little charge to deal right there. I'm back up to 40%, which is good. But that's my work phone. This is my internet phone, at least this month. Or what remains of this month. Still haven't researched and got that figured out. But I started talking about what the heck, why the heck are you sitting out on a green box on the corner? And my thought is, well, I have to sit somewhere. And I didn't really want to ride the bicycle in all the slop and slush. I don't want to waste the money on the bus that I have like in the past. Um... I might have one, possibly two bus rides left, and I had two bus passes, but I don't know what happened to them. They disappeared somewhere, somehow. Um, so, yeah, why not sit here when I have, I still have a full cup of coffee, almost? All right? If I was any other place, where would I be? Outside of Starbucks smoking a cigarette, outside of Amante's Avante smoking a cigarette, why not just sit right here till I die type of mentality? I can't stand much longer, Virginia. The sun is getting high. Sometimes it's hard to sing as bad as the Grateful Dead. that I was listening to was five bucks at the uh, thrift store, or no, a pawn shop. And uh, then I dropped it, and now the battery inside is kind of rattly, but it seems to still function. Granted, for it to function means that I require connectivity. And since my Bluetooth work phone is connected to my ears, and the other phone is connected to the Facebook, using up all my data. Uh, oh yes, waiting for the 13. What if the 13 took a break? Oh, I didn't think of that, did I? Uh, But yeah, all in all, it's a more interesting place to be than Starbucks, right? I mean, ooh, look at, I wouldn't have seen the limo if I was in Starbucks. Hey, limo people. All right? I'm going to thumb a ride with limo people. I'm going to thumb a ride to my thumb. Come on, play Jerry. around as far out as we are there's probably a driver going someplace to pick someone up he's got an empty deal he's like I ain't letting no homeless dude sitting on a fucking power box in my limo Are you kidding me
Yeah, it wouldn't be very much fun. I doubt they've got limos yet to where they stock them with weed. If they did, though, I would be all about riding around in that. Think about it. The have booze in them when weed becomes legal. Since shrooms became decriminalized, hello, you can have a shroom mobile. Just drives people around, and they can just stay high on the bus. Shit, you need a fleet of buses, dude. A fleet of buses. You could launder a bunch of money that way too, I guess, if you were into doing having quarters. All the things people do to earn a box to stash their stuff. Right, Mr. Carlin? Has he passed away or is he still out there kicking it up? The other night I was watching a podcast and it was the first time I had heard any stories that uh, George Carlin, I guess it makes sense though, but... I never imagined him having a rough night or a bad night or a bomb night or whatever. I mean, if you're the right kind of comedian, there's number four. The right kind of comedian, if you bomb every night, that might be the bomb. Maybe that's your angle. My angle is to bomb every night. My attempt is to speak for 30 minutes and not smile once but since my set is only two minutes long I'm going to spend the next 30 minutes 30 seconds Trying to get this piece of popcorn out of my mouth, in between my teeth, stuck on my teeth. pretty isn't it i'm sitting here thinking about brewers and beer and stuff and forgot that you guys are watching traffic splash through puddles but you know yeah you know Yeah. 
This is fun, right? Number four. I said number four before, didn't I? It's the first one stopped. I remember that. Oh, right. The very first one that passed by was the one that said uh, something about advertising. we are walking the puppy dog. I think the weather's fine. Uh -huh, yeah, right. Both of which were Bill Murray. One from Caddyshack when the priest was golfing. And uh, one with... Uh, It's just a little snow this is supposed to push over. Glass company. Imagine that job today. What day is it? Is it Thursday? It's Thursday because I did laundry. Scratch. So I saw the Jeep go by and I'm thinking, oh yeah, I ought to get one of those. And then I saw... A nice other car just go by from scratch, so starting from scratch, scratching up whatever we can. Had the thought of collecting all of the pennies. That's weird, right? I'm sitting here realizing that if I did this text or speech to text, it's like people are more likely to read it than to watch it. I don't know. I feel like some people, everybody, most people, lots of people are so busy, there's no time to read. And if they did have time to read, they'd probably spend it doing more outdoorsy shit. It's, I don't know, lots of people that like outdoorsy shit live in this area. It's, I don't know, it's outdoorsy. It's looking awesome. Look at this, it's May and I'm sitting in the snow. Why? Well, imagine July 7th or 13th or August 31st or whatever when it's super duper hot and then you just remember this day. Hi again! That's a good walk. They look happy. Little dirty. They look happy a little dirty. I love it. I was just imagining what would July or August or some hot month be like and then just remember this. In May. It's May. I love it. Tomorrow should be nice too, so. Oh, right on. Hang in there. People just always assume that I'm sitting here flying a sign. I mean, that's the funniest part of it all. I don't have a sign. I got Sharpies. I had, The only reason I have the desire to fly the signs is for the humor and the artistic nature. I'm not really sure what I'd do with the money. But... Part of me wishes I, I just had a brain fart thinking about my bucket and my little broom that disappeared from the neighbor bike on the bike rack. Um, and then I was thinking if I had that, I could put a sign out here that just said, uh, throw quarters at me. And then I was thinking then you get somebody out there on the crosswalk to have a game about it. Or shit, get a pretty girl in a bikini like those, uh, what do you call them? Car washes. There's a big truck. Ooh, 
I've been looking at this thing down there and it might be a stick, but if it's metal, it's really gnarly to be on the street. I keep thinking I'm going to go grab it and then cars can come by and get in the way. And I don't want to get up from my nice warm dry spot. I know, heated seat, right? Looking smart, homie. Why are you sit on that box all day? Gotta sit someplace. Well, you walk over and it's not a, it's a stick or it's something stupid. What's the point? Yep, you're right. Where's the 13? Pretty sure we missed one lap. It's been more than a lap. Not to mention, oh, did I? Did I smoke that cigarette? Cleaners. Their cleaning is an art. Well, my name isn't Art. Dude, that thing's cool looking. Yeah, to me, that's better than a Hummer. I don't know, it's just... I don't know that it's any better. But, whatever. It's no rental car, that's for sure. You can take those things anywhere off-road. <laughs> like a troll. 32 miles from the highway. Well, it's going kind of fast, I guess. Hey, there's a neat little zoo zoo. Hybrid Prius. The way they should have looked when they first came out. Oops. Oh, it's time to close this out. That's the 13. All of my sons, that are family, and yours. I uh, couldn't tell. I was about to stop this anyway, just to see how much uh, bandwidth or data it ate up. But might as well consider this my uh, practice closer. I started thinking of those ones the other night. You get a whole bunch of openers and a whole bunch of closers. There's the 70. Uh, then you can just mishmash whatever else in between. But that'd be the uh, AC equals B comedy routine, I suppose. For a second. Oh, that other phone was getting turned on and off. I'm starting to be concerned that I've been missing phone calls from it, my phone not being very reliable. But it's all crackety-ness. I guess 40% is good enough. Yeah, it's surprising, I know. I, I take my sunglasses off and it's, I mean, there's no sun out, obviously, but it's glary, though. I'm a dyslexic product placement manager. I go sit out and take pictures of the trucks that go by, the advertisements on the vehicles. I go where the ads are. I'm a journalist. I'm an advertising journalist. I'm a silly monkey sitting on a green box. I kind of want to smoke another cigarette, but I'm almost thinking that it's bus number 13 time. Even if he or she took a lunch break, second lap could have been done by now. Well, let's talk about, well, see, find out the line and you understand how long a lap takes. 
figure out how much you're getting for your ticket. If your ticket costs you two dollars and fifty cents, or what is it, two dollars and eighty cents, I think. Or maybe it's a dollar eighty. I don't know. Whatever it is, one lap is how much you're spending per minute. Oh, that's a number eight. Six. But he's turning again, so that might be a different different thing. looping around for the waiting line to get some pause zone over there and take their break. I'm not sure if they walk over to that housing partner's place to use the bathroom or what they do. It's probably good for them to get a little walk. Three, two, one, and okay, we're out. I'm done. Let's see how much this ate up.